Morning everyone. Today I want to talk about this guy, the Stratix ADSB unit. Um, and I want to show you what it looks like on the iPad in operation and in the airplane. So stay tuned. So to open it, you have to go to a website basically because the Stratix offers a Wi-Fi. You have to connect to that and then you can set a link on your home screen and it opens up this page which gives you basic information on the first one with the status um, up on top. You can see actually the version 1.4 revision 5, which I think uh, needs an update by now. <laughs> and um, other than that, you see um, GPS information and what kind of stations it picks up. So this is a pretty quick review. Uh, next page would be weather. Here you can set up stations, um, say along your route you're coming across certain airports, it makes it easier for the unit to pick up weather instead of picking up all the weather. You basically get only the stations you specify in a list which comes um, up in the settings. On this page here we see um, traffic around us, um, you can switch to tail numbers, um, you can add the squawk code. And instead of the uh, GPS location, you can see a bearing and the distance to your aircraft. Um, and you can see there's quite a lot going on. On the next page, you have the AHARS and uh, more GPS information plus a G meter, which um, when I reset it, you can see when I move the station, you can see the needle actually move a little bit, even though I cannot come up with about a G right now. So, but um, pretty good information, I think. Um, if I go back up on the page in a little bit, you can see that you can actually reset your AHARS or your gyro, which on a, another page also gives you uh, calibration options. But here, if you're in straight and level flight, you reset it right there and it is a good start um, to uh, show what I'm going to show you with the Flight QEFB app. But here you can see you got roll and pitch information right away by just moving the unit a little bit. Um, if I scroll through further to the pages, there is more information. I haven't had it running for a long time, so there will be not much right now. And here you can see that you can actually calibrate the gyros and the sensor calibration or orientation, which allows you to um, tell the unit which is forward or which side is um, the back side of it, meaning if you're limited in placing it, it gives you the option. Okay, here in the Fly, Fly QEFB, um, we got our basic page coming up on the sectional chart. Um, we have again more ADSB information and this is where you actually work, obviously. So now if you had it running for a while, you could see some traffic. We, right here in the morning, we don't really have a lot. If I take the filter off, you will see for a second that there's a lot more going on. And there you go. And I turn the filter back on and it only shows me traffic within 15 miles of my, my position, basically. Um, other than that, you can click on it and you see information of that traffic. Um, there you see um, 1500 feet above, for example, at which speed it's traveling, how far it's away from me, and even the last update it came from, and the heading is actually um, flying. Further on, weather is not current right now, it takes a little bit for it to run, I usually turn it on earlier, and more GPS information um, on your unit. Also you can of course have a flight recorder on flight QFB to record your flight track. Okay, let's show you the uh, AHARS in action. Not in the airplane right now, on the ground. I'm gonna um, just move the unit, but you can see that you hear as a theoretically backup instrument C roll and pitch information. So I'm gonna pick the unit up and we're on the ground right now. So um, the ground relative to us looks a little weird. You should see a little different information. But here's my roll to the right and the left. And then of course um, my pitch up and down or down and up. So that is what it would look like in the aircraft if we are actually moving. So this was the Stratix 
uh, ADS-B unit and the flight QEFB together. Um, the Stratox basically runs on a Raspberry Pi and definitely beats the $800 or $500 units you can buy, especially if you're on a budget. So um, yeah, I think it's a pretty good deal if you're willing to put it together. So in the next video, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the aircraft and um, while we're flying. So I hope you'll be back. Thanks for watching. Peace.